Hi, I'm Andy Mattingly with the Be Smart Money Minute powered by Forum Credit Union. Let's talk about five ways to teach your children smart financial habits. Think about the Keep the Change game. It's a pretty simple game that you can do. They're gonna, they want ice cream, you give them $10 and say, go get your ice cream, you get to keep whatever you have left over. You'll find out what type of child you have. If they get the three scoops and use all the money, you know you have a spender. If they get the one scoop and keep the change, you have a saver, so you know where you need to go with them after that. The second thing you can do is use the holidays. It's a great time to give them the money that they need for all the gifts they need to buy, have them set up a budget, and then talk to them about making sure they don't use that money to buy things for themselves and try to keep them on that budget. So you're teaching them in a small way how to budget. The third thing that you can do to teach your kids about financial habits is to give them an allowance. Now, I'm not talking about an allowance that you're just giving to them because they do chores or something like that. Give them an allowance that comes with financial responsibility, meaning that if you have a child that's 12 and they're starting to go out and do things with their friends, you may give them $25 a month and say, whenever you go out with your friends, you're gonna have to pay your way so they know that that's what that money is for. Just remember, don't bail them out. If they don't have the money to go out with their kids, then they don't go out. And that's how you teach them smart financial habits with that money. Another thing that you can do is set up spend, save, and share accounts for your kids. So you, every time you give them money or they get money for their birthdays, ask them to do three things with their money. Put some money away that they know that they're gonna spend, have some money that they're gonna save for something long term, and some that they're gonna share, either giving to a charity or buying things that they wanna to give to a charity. But you're kinda of letting them know there's only three things you can do with money. Spend, save, or share it, and that you need to do all three in different amounts at different times in your life. And the last thing that you can do, and it's really probably the easiest thing that you can do, is involve them in all of the daily activities that go on in your household that require financial decisions. Have them help you with grocery shopping. And I know when they're seven, that may get cumbersome. You know, mommy, daddy, why are you buying this instead of that? Or why can't we buy the candy? And you talk about the budget you have and using coupons and comparison shopping. So you're doing those things every day, reinforcing the good habits that you have. And if you don't have those good habits, you will have to start having them because the children are gonna model your financial habits more than anyone else. That's been the Be Smart Money Minute, powered by Forum Credit Union.